So you were t you were telling me you're a huge fan of the series, though. Yes. And that there's... So there's a few books? There's a few books. I don't remember exactly how many. But more than one, obviously. Yeah. I want to say there's six, but it could be wrong. Damn, so what, that means they can make six movies out of this? Well, no, because the first movie crunched, like, two books together, so... Uh, I don't like when they do that. But they did leave out a lot of the fluff out of the first book, like, the, his journey, you know. That's not... As it says, I don't remember he gets to, um, to the prison until the third book, I think, where then he meets up with, uh, the female owl. Well, that's not and real. And he, or not the, not the female, the little one, who he later finds out is a sister that was lost. Well, that's not really a lot of fluff, then. That's a lot of fluff, because I'm saying he's missing, um... The other animals that he interacts with in his journey that keep pointing him to go to the tree. Well, see, that's the problem with movies, though, is the fact that they cut out so much from the book. Well, it was still good. See, at least the good thing about this game is it's not an adaptation of the movie. It's a sequel. And since, have you read all the books? Yeah, I haven't read them in a little while, so well, the, I forget a lot of stuff, but I know the then, synopsis. Well, then maybe when we... You gotta think... I read these books when I was, like, in third grade. Damn, they're that old. Yeah. Wow. I remember because, you know when your elementary school have book fairs? My mom would give me ten bucks because I was trying to buy the next book in this series. I picked it up the one time because I liked the picture of the owls on it because this is how I get attracted to books. It's got to have a good picture. Yeah. <laughs> on the front, and then I'll read it, like Animorphs and stuff like that. But this was one of the book series I read, and I kept spending my money to get the next book. Well, then maybe you'll be able to tell me when we get into this if this is actually faithful to the books then. Because mm -hmm. it's a follow-up to the movie, but I don't know if it's connected. Because at this point, I didn't know there were books. I remember this series. Soren and stuff like that. I remember this. Well, let's... Let's hope this lives up to everything you love about the series, then. Oh, so is this actually t the, this is actually tied into the books, then? You know, rough retrospect when they um, saved Sorn from being slaughtered, because I'm not going to tell you who the villain killed, is, but um, close and out of the reason why you never saw the attack was because um, R2 to fly. No, R2. There you go. It was basically an inside job. Oh. I don't remember. For, uh, for power. Ah. Oh. I don't remember if that's mentioned in this game or not. Because I have beaten this before, just... It was a it was a few years ago, and before I even... I didn't even see the movie until after I beat this. Good thing is, it's... By the way, I like how they... I like how they get the credits in there now. Like, really? Take those air currents. And the heart of heaven. Yeah. I forgot that this game was kind of on rails and the controls are. The control is sloppy. If it's you use the if you use the right stick in a direction, apparently you can barrel roll. But no, like... Because I remember, um, Sworn wasn't the only egg in that nest. They actually had two. Mmm. Because Sworn does have a sister, which he doesn't find that out until later. And then he has to protect his sister. Because they want the second egg for some reason. And that, and that's this guy, though? What? Who... Protect, you have to protect your sister or something, or...? Sworn's sister. Oh. So I later uh -huh. meet him. Because that was the whole thing in the book. Was to redeem the family and then after the prison he learns um Oh damn. He's down. He does have a sister because there was two eggs. They were separated at birth. But as I said, they don't find that out until later. Hmm.
So, but I forget, is your is your character's father like a mainstay in the books then? Yeah. Shard? Are you even listening? And it is Shard in the books too, or? Yeah. Because I haven't I haven't read all these, so I wouldn't know. They're on the book. Um, as I said, the Enough. attack on the tree the was an inside job. Ah. That's why he never saw the attack coming. The there is another owl that's controlling the rest of the ravens. Yeah, the controls aren't exactly yeah, the best. They suck. Like, how am I? S like, if you have to, f I guess, get close to them and then hit tap A. But if up is supposed to go forward, and but then up also yeah, tilts you up. That's what I'm saying. That's a problem. Oh, holding the trigger. Fl okay, you weren't holding the trigger. I was holding the trigger. See, I'm holding it now, and it's actually working just fine. Boom. All you have to do now is find a torch to light. Simply fly up to the torch and throw the hot coal into it. Nice shot. So many fucking bats, though. Yeah. Or, no, they're crows. They some do. are crows and some are bats. Ah. What, are the crows and the bats working together? They're all part of the pure ones. Oh, the crows and the bats Yeah, are... they're... Think of them as minions. Oh, of the pure ones? Oh, the pure ones, yeah. Oh. They're basically the minions. Cause they're having a... them no, kidnap the baby, uh, the baby my birds to put in the labor camps to harvest their stones for them. So oh, I thought they were... I thought they were kidnapping the baby owls to brainwash them, too. That, too. But, as I say, they put some in the mine, and that's where Soren ended up as. What, is a baby? Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. There's a story where they say that they he saved the baby owl. They ended up, he ended up going to one of those labor camps. Ow. Soren did. And he escaped with three other owls. Because mm -hmm. I remember, aren't the pure ones just more owls? Yeah. That just broke away? They broke away from the Guardian As group. payment for their loyalty, cause... the pure ones have been giving yeah. any non taito outlets they find to the bats. The outlets are being kept in their secret hideout, somewhere in Kunir. There are, however, bat sanctuaries in the area. Perhaps we can get some information out of the bats located there. So now they're There's giving now they're nearby. giving uh, the Follow outlets me. to the bats, though. The ones that they deem not uh, usable for their soldiers. I remember in the prison, um, if an outlet is too weak or anything like that, they do end up going to the bats as food. Oh dear. Yeah. Fuck, that was fast. That's kind of like their trade-off. The bats go get the babies for them. And, then and they... in return, they do give them a portion of the babies to eat. Why don't the bats do whatever they want with them? Why don't the bats just break off on their own if they're the ones getting the babies, anyways? Oh, because they, if... just they just obey the pure ones for they have that kind of weird, uh, even weird though, agreement. Even though they're the ones getting the babies, so they could just go get the babies and then have all the, have all the baby owls for themselves. Mm. Like that would make sense. Okay, see when you're on when you're on rails in this game though, it's actually not that it's not too bad. It's just a standard flying game at that point. But I'm pretty sure we're about to break off. <laughs> the bats won't freely lead us. When I saw the um commercial for the movie, I was like, no way. <laughs> They're actually making the book series I read as a child into a movie, tw you know. Man, that's insane. Fifteen that... something years later. Yeah, that's insane. I didn't realize the books were that old, and they, they waited. They are old. And they waited, and they waited that long. I'm sure to... they've gotten through, you know, several remake remakes like the Rats and Nim have, but. They must have known we were coming. Didn't the Didn't the Rats of Nim only have like two movies? Mm-hmm. One of which wasn't that good. 
Oh wait, that's because it completely lacked the emotion that the first one did. It's like I didn't hate it at first, but I could see the problems. But I mean, this this wouldn't be the first. This wouldn't be the only time that uh, you know, they waited forever to make a book series into a movie. It was a long time. I never thought I would ever see this. Book well, I don't. Series. I don't know how long they waited for Secret of Nim. I don't know how popular this book series was. As that... far as I know, in my elementary school, I was probably the only kid reading these. See, Years later. See, for me, I didn't even like I said, I didn't know about the books or any of that stuff. So, mm -hmm. I when when I was at a when I was at a date for another movie like many a year ago, I ended up I saw the poster for this and thought it looked pretty cool. And I was right. It is a good book series for kids. Yeah, and at, it's not that scary, but it you know to me it, it was good. And it seems like the because the only book stories I read back then was anything involving animals. And it seemed like the movie adaptation, though, is actually, you know, a fair, like, it's a... It's following the story fairly good. Because, I mean, okay... They did skip some things, but that's okay. Yeah, that's... As I said, they just skipped the fluff. Yeah, but I mean, you said they also combined the first two books into the first movie? They get the, fo the uh, first book, and then little bits and parts of the second book. See, that's part of the reason why I hated the second Maze Runner film, is they pulled that shit. Which I do understand they're trying to crunch, because the fir first book is mostly a lot of prologue, you know, and he taught, and you know, he remember, you know, you go through the journey of him being captured, and then he meets the other prison, and learns the prison rules, and then he gets acclimated, and meets all these other people who tell stories of one day they will be freed by the Guardians, and then someone's like, what's the Guardians? And then you go on that all... Yeah but, Side in, note. yeah, but in all fairness, if they're trying to trim down some of the fat and all that just because they <laughs> think people might find it boring and all that, hell, just go, watch, just go watch the first Lord of the Rings film. That's like three hours of, like, they could have cut, they probably could have cut at least a third of that. As I said, they just shaved off a lot of the fluff, because I said the prison was a big thing for Sword. Hell, why don't why don't they? They make... were mistreating him and stuff like that. So him and a bunch of a uh, bunch of other ones pretty much stave a basically I equivalent to like a jail riot where everything went to shit. And during the chaos, he escaped with the three other baby owls. Just point me to a target. One of them being a spotted owl, and the other one being a baby uh, barn owl, just like him. Yeah. I said that almost acclimated an entire book by itself. Wow, so now they kind of forgot how to how to fight them, and Soren tells them about the thing that they were mining. So, and they were trying to counteract how you counteract. Uh, Even though you fleck, basically, which I attribute that to basically Brimstone. Even though you would think they would constantly be in training for so for something like this. No, they're not. They kind of just sit at the tree and just wait for danger. Because, of course... To come by. And then once danger is spotted, then, you know, then they are. Right? Then we go into... But they had no idea um, the ki how bad the kidnapping got. To where they were not only taking baby owls, I think for a brief period they were actually taking the eggs, you know, to hatch for themselves and turn them into the brainwashed ones. Oh. Oh, with that. That was under the control of the fleck. With that whole moon blinking business? Yeah. By the way, speaking of which, that's what someone, <laughs> someone who I was friends with told me that, uh, he said the parents were, that parents actually got pissed off with the moon blinking. Why? Hell if I know. But I found that funny. Like, they got pissed off. At, like, he told me what they got pissed off about, and then I saw the film, but I kind of forgot what he had said, so I asked him again, and he's like, it was the moon blinking, and I'm like, really? Like, really? That makes no sense. It's their way of controlling their brains, and, you know, infusing them with a the flack. Yeah. Now I get what they're doing. The fleck is the be-all end-all for the pure ones. Yep. The 
That's their material, and the Guardians have the Firestones, which is basically coal and flint. Is their source of power. Yeah. Yeah, coal, <laughs> coal is their source of power. Coal and flint, you know, they basically use Ma fire. Magical you know, ruins. coals and stuff. Magical ruins make more sense. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, this is our power. This right here, it's this hot flaming coal. I forget which of the original Guardian Owls ends up being the villain. But it, I do remember he was an ex Guardian at one point. Oh. That I do remember. Yes, what that alarmer? What that an owl become joins one of the pure ones? No, one of the guardians is well, already a pure one. Oh. Hence the first attack. Oh, working from the. I think the... it was the the wise owl. I think the old one, the oh. oldest one. Oh, when he he was working from the inside. I believe he's the basically the leader of the pure ones, but the guardians don't know it was an inside job. At least that's what I remember. Well, they suck if you kept it I secret. I need to go back and read these books again. <laughs> yeah, that would be useful. So the guardians were basically in their none too bright because they got Although too comfortable because for a long time nothing bad happened. Through the You'll need yeah. To get in there and rest so they kind of got all cozy and whatnot. And I'm pretty sure that's exactly what the... That's why the surprise attack was so devastating, because they, they, they never saw it coming. Well. You know. Go in and, and they the had gotten way too comfortable. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's we'll what the pure ones were waiting for. Well, actually, they got too fat on their perch, and so... No time to that attack was the most devastating. Yeah, and then I bet it taught them don't get cozy ever again. <laughs> I believe in the books, all the Guardians are going through training. Training and or rescue miss missions to bring back the baby owlets that as many as they can rescue and they bring them back to the tree. They don't reunite them with their parents or anything. No. No, why would they? They bring them all back to the tree. And they basically, they start training the survivors to become more Guardians, basically. That's because For the, you know, the be-all, end-all war between, you know, the brainwashed owls and regular owls. Well, yeah, eventually it's going to lead to that. And I'm sure that happened in the books, huh? Yeah. I believe one of Soren's friends dies during that war. Oh. Before the war or something. I do remember he doesn't lose one of his friends. But yeah, let's... I let, don't remember which let, one. Let's not take the owlets back to their... Uh, back I think it was, next. um... Hurry. I'm just squeezing the outlet to death in my claws. Squeeze. I see another thief in the canyons. Oh, see here, I thought After I was going to throw it in the nest. <laughs> just chuck it. In the nest. <laughs> yeah, that would have been funny if you get a bucket in the nest. That would have been, but. <laughs> Oh, I guess that bars for your barrel roll then. Yeah, so you waste it. It's basically, I guess, you're equivalent to your standable bar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course that had to be an achievement. Don't let them knock the outlet from your grasp. Well, since I can't defend myself, well, can you do barrels? That's apparently all I can do. No, I can't defend myself though, even though I have a perfectly good talon free. <laughs> bats. Yeah, so many fucking bats. Eagle! Come on! Down they go. <laughs> it seems quite clear that Just a random tiny nest in the middle of a canyon. Yeah. Shall we? Like that makes that makes perfect sense. Not exactly the safest place. We must keep them away from this bit. Just to feed them, like For always. For context, I just think, yeah, you have to keep them away from the nest. You mean the nest in the one tree that's out in the middle of nowhere? Yes. No, that yeah, that'll be perfect. In the book, they don't bring the babies back to the nest because they know they're gonna get re-kidnapped. They bring them to the tree. They bring them to the guardian tree. Yeah. Instead of their nest out in the middle of nowhere. As far as I know, most of the birds they were evacuating the families to the tree. How did the how did the owls build the cages? 
They're owls, okay. They're very, you know, they're natural architects, okay. Totally. They don't have the fucking hands <laughs> to do it. They can braid rope and, you know. With, with their talons, they can braid rope. Yeah. That makes no fucking sense. Well, have you ever seen an owl hockey puck a hot coal into something? No. I don't think so. Probably because they have metal on their ta Yeah, how did they make the metal- I don't think real life owls know how to use fire, because if they did, we'd all be dead. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we just have owls raining down fiery death on us. Yeah, and they're going to do it at the time you're sleeping, too, so yeah. you, you won't have a chance. You won't see it coming. But, no, they have- and the you know, the are going to have machine guns, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Nature's going to be like, fuck you, bitches! <laughs> Well, die. well, if they give that giant middle finger to all the hunters, I'd be okay with it. Bears are gonna ride humans into the, <laughs> into the fray. <laughs> Damn. Terrible. Uh, but it's like, see, they have the metal talons. That's attached. what I imagine my apocalypse is gonna be. <laughs> what Brian. bears? Bears Brian. riding humans, deers with machine, and machine guns, and yeah. owls and fireballs. Right. Well, well from the no, it's only the that's only the apocalypse for all the people yes, who hunt them. Nice, nice. <laughs> Because they're gonna they're gonna use things that we can't fight back against. As you can see, you know the same way we do. Carry around here of late. Fire you Pretty much. So clear in the map of Tido. Wonderful. They're purposely finding a way to make this longer than it needs yeah. to be. Yeah. Because you, it takes two pieces of coal to destroy a catapult, but then you can only carry two pieces at a time. That means you're going to have to make, like, five trips. And now you got to worry about the catapults hitting you. And you also got the bird. Yeah. No, but we have a guy carrying around things of fire. That we could somehow pick up. I mean, I guess we can pick them up because we have metal talons. I guess that's how it works. Yeah. I basically equivalent the talents to swords, basically. B and yet he somehow still becomes a guardian, though? Yeah. For his actions. Even though he did pull some unorthodox actions, like he did disobey orders and stuff like that, but he did it out of passion of the heart. So. Oh, so that's perfectly acceptable, then. Yeah. See what the leader of the pure ones is doing? No, that's not ex <laughs> That's not acceptable, because he didn't do it out of passion of the heart. He did it out of pa- I think he was basically, he was ill-minded, and he basically led a path of more violence and bloodshed. Yeah. But he could just t what So if he just tells him, though, it was a passion of the heart, That's not how that, that works. Then, then all is forgiven. No! Isn't that how it works? No. Because Soren disobeyed. The other, he didn't have a pure heart. Soren has a pure heart. So he could just tell them it's it was a- a pure heart and a pure soul. It was a passion of the heart. Shut up. Doing great. Oh, you... I think one of the other ones took a hit for that. Yeah. But that that's how it works, right? But you could... You, you just go kill them and then go, but hey, you, I'm forgiven, right? Because it was a passion of the oh heart. Oh my god, no! <laughs> The, the only, will the, fort structure. the only, the only difference fort. between elites and regulars yeah, is just the armor. Bringing it down. And tar targeting the ropes that they somehow were able to put there. The palace. Yeah, so they could just weave rope. Makes sense. None of this makes sense. There we go. I like how three ropes were the only things holding that up. Yeah. We're owls, like... We just cut the ropes and it blew up! Tido Forest is free once what, again. what the hell? Thanks for all your help. We, we cut the ropes and it caused it to not tip, but to explode. Who are the Hax Fiends? Are those the ravens? The ravens. Ah. The raven crows, whatever. To mine vast amounts of fleck. So now we have to go free these... So now they're force mining fleck and bulk now. The pure yep. ones are going to extreme... And now we're gonna race... You're gonna race. Because we need to, apparently. I guess this is your moment Think of you fun. Can beat me, son? I... Moment of pointlessness. And fly through the rings! Go faster! I'm... 
I'm going as fast. Yeah, just go faster. That's how it works. You know, at least they made yeah, this only one, job. one part of the game at this point. They didn't make the whole game around it like some other things. You know, it's not Superman 64 where the, <laughs> the fucking shit's nothing but rings. Because the Superman ring stages, they're not even hard. They're just, they're, they're mind-numbingly awful. Because I, I've, I've played a little bit of that. It's not, it's not fun. I've done about three sections worth of ring stages. I can't figure out one of the later ones, but I did, like, the rings are fine. Those, are, those aren't hard. Like it, you might want to go faster. That is falling. That is falling. Yes, I see that. The problem is I don't want to go too fast, otherwise I miss a ring. Like I said, I think that's the I think that's the name of the game here is just get, you know, getting rings. And then what's the next stage? More rings. Rings on fire. Yeah, we'll light them on fire next. And then we'll have them moving, and then and then they'll be on fire and moving. So here's a question: Could bats survive in the Arctic? Technically, no. So in real world logic, I've probably poked about fifty holes into this whole thing. Just it's like, play on the fantasy. Game. It's like shut up, just live in the fantasy. It's like people who poke a thousand holes in the Star Wars plot line. Well. Well, what what holes are they looking to poke? I think the movie, the Kylo Ren one, you got a lot of holes poked in that one. Why is that? I don't know. Go read the fucking article then. <laughs> I believe that's a YouTube video too. What about all the plot holes in the new? Ten plot holes in the Kylo Ren. Oh, in uh, Last Jedi. Yeah. I mean. People seemingly don't like Kylo Ren. Yeah. Probably because he is no Darth Vader. Okay, I can, I can do the strong attacks on these guys. Don't know why it stuns me on the hat on the hag fiends. Because the hag fiends are, I think they're vultures, not crows. Still doesn't explain. They're armored vultures. Oh well, still doesn't explain to me how my strong attack can uh, not work on them. Damn it! Come on. So I have to defeat the hags fiends, though, huh? Yep. And I thought the bats were done fucking with us, though, but I guess not. I think they'll still harvest the fleck for the pure ones, but they won't mess with the guardians. Unless they get them instructed to, which... They are. Cause, oh, because normally, uh... Nor normally they'd probably leave us alone now at this point, huh? Because they know we're gonna fucking kill them if they don't. And rescue them. So now the Hags Fiends have returned. Yep. Everything we thought wouldn't come back. Ancient enemies of legend. Yeah. Yeah, everything we thought that wouldn't come back did come back because we suck at what we do, obviously. <laughs> Clearly we suck at what we do. We didn't do. foresee this. No, clearly. So we thought, you know. Because we're cocky and arrogant. Well, since the fall of the last one. So you have to defeat the entire entourage and then free the son of a bitch. And you have to keep doing this. And are they on the other side of the mountain? Look like it. Really? Because that's fair. And there's two of them now. Couldn't couldn't the monks just peck their way out of the cage? Or you can just use your comrades to distract them while you get in there at the carrier. No, I think it says you have to clear them all out because it wouldn't let me. It, it wouldn't even let me attack the carrier until that point. But couldn't the monks just peck the peck your way out of the out of the cage? 
That would work. And oh my god, they're so far away. Yeah. Do it. I'm on fire. Yeah, everybody's on weakened. fire. We're under fire. Oh shit. Really? I couldn't have. I wouldn't have known. Who's firing the catapults? Are owls just sitting there firing them? Either owls or bats. That's the bats are the expendable. Yeah, minions. true, and I would put the bats there just. The owls are their soldiers, and the hag ravens are just there. To do whatever they want. To do whatever the top pure ones say. That's basically the guardians of the pure ones, or the hag ravens. And you have to avoid all this shit while trying to. Get the coals to blow shit up. Yeah. And of course, the only source of hot coals in this spot is through this tunnel. I mean, it's not... Like, I've gotten the controls down packed. Like, I'm fine with them. It's just, you know, trying to do everything. Destroy the catapult! So is it is it kind of lazy that they just essentially made you Soren then? But they, not... they should have just allowed you to play a Soren instead of giving you your own out. But I do even understand. Though, even though it is Soren's story, though. It is Soren's story, but I don't, you know. I guess they wanted you to make to I guess make you a part of the story. Like That's you're yeah. now helping you fight alongside Soren. That's kind of what they do. But I feel like this would have been better if you were just playing as Soren in the first place, because that's what you are, because the character selection, you're basically Soren's we're gang of friends fire. that he meets. Oh. Great Horned Owl, which is the old one, that you meet rescuing him from the mines. So, but from the character selection, though, they're all people who joined up with Soren. Yeah. So then why did we give them, in this game, the same backstory as Soren? Basically Love the smell. <laughs> That's what it said. Even though you're not Soren because you're someone else. Yeah. And if we just met the sister, you said that happens in book four. But the remember. but the end of the but the final battle should be at the end of the series, so I have no idea. We're jumping all over the place and I mean here's the thing, if you're not a hardcore fan of this series and you know, only really that know of the, the movie and the books, then he realistically, the is this... It's okay. I mean, it's not, you know, it, it's not hurting you, because it's... It, it's taking liberties, but at least it's not, you know... It's just contradicting a lot of stuff that I remember reading. Yeah. Maybe they rewrote it? Maybe they... Because they did kind of do that, but... They did. Maybe. I remember in the original books, you know... Remember the baby born already travels with ends up being his sister. Yeah. And not just, you know, oh hey, I found this moon blinked owl who happened to be your sister. <laughs> Maybe that did happen. I don't remember. I it's don't. It's been a long time. Alamir? Yep, I, I called it earlier. Yeah. I actually oh, called it earlier. <laughs> He's the traitor. And your father knew about it, but I'm couldn't prove boy. it. So oh, who. <gasps> Surprised? I thought with all of your snooping, you would have guessed by now. And... Yep. So was was Alamir the main villain in the books then? He doesn't learn of it, but he does suspect that it was an inside flex, job. They will have a terrible effect on you if you get too close. Oh, so you, in what you've read, though, you never you never discovered who the true villain. Yeah, was. but my suspicion it was the Wise Owl. Alamir. Because he was gone for a long time to see if, because when Soren got to the tree, Alamir had left on that mission to, you know, to prove if Soren was correct or not. He was gone for a long time. And at that point, you know, they were arguing whether or not to change Soren as a guardian or not. Hmm. They didn't think he'd be capable? So when he finally discovers that the other barn owl that he was with the whole time was his sister, they, they thought that would be the distraction. Oh. Or, yeah. I haven't read if Soren actually, you know, confronted him or not on it. 
But none of the guardians believed Sword that it was an inside job. Kinda like how they kinda like how with this game. Yeah. So when I, you know, when Sorn first got to Drake, he told them, that was a you great know, shot, he overheard Sean. people at the, the prison saying, you know, it was an inside job. It was a, a guardian had told him that. You know, it was the one that was, you know, going after the fleck and all this shit. Will depend heavily on your success. They have a forge, too. Yeah, that's where they make, as I said, the fleck armor. How are they? Why do I even question it still? How will blacksmiths? That makes no sense. Owls can be blacksmiths. No, uh, yeah, how are they gonna hold the hammer? But they have little oh my, claws. Oh my god, it's so fast. They can just hold the thing with their claws and just uh, so use... they use giant tree trunks as, you know, hammers and stuff. Yeah, that makes total sense. Or owls. Like I said, I'm gonna quit trying to question this, because there's no... Would you like the owl to be dragonborn? Would that make more sense? <laughs> no! No, it wouldn't. Ah. That, that would actually make it worse. <laughs> That would actually make it a hell of a lot worse if the owl was a dragonborn, too. Ah, he uses shouts. <laughs> yeah, and then, hell, why don't we just combine? Why don't we just combine the owl with the dragon? There you go, owl dragon. There you go, makes perfect sense. Or the owls can ride into battle on dragon. Well, in Dungeons and Dragons, there is a species that is half owl and half dragon. Why wouldn't there be? I forget what they're called, but that was a thing. Why wouldn't there be? Hell, why don't we just have them riding into battle on the dragon? I got the so book, like the guide on dragons. It's Cent it's a uh, centaur dragon, I guess. It's got like the front of a dragon, no wings, and it's got the the from the back end of a horse. Yeah, so kind of like a centaur. Yeah. Except the top half's a dragon. <laughs> top half's a dragon, the rest of it's a horse. So, oh. dragon, okay, dra dragon centaur. That actually makes sense. Because uh. <laughs> hey, cent <laughs> centaurs are things. So... Yeah, one that the front's an uh, half of an owl, and the other half is the back of a dragon. Yeah, totally. Shit, why not? Hey, in Gauntlet, there was the Chimera, which had, like, parts from three different animals. <laughs> so... Chimera's cool. What was it different than your traditional Chimera? I believe that's just what they called it in that game. But no, basically, we're just going to combine everything oh, into, like, a Super Minotaur. <laughs> or Super Centaur, excuse me. There's a difference between the two. Minotaurs are just one thing, but they are brutal. Yeah. Hey, it's the Guardian of the Labyrinth for a reason. I don't remember if it was the Guardian in in the Labyrinth and Percy Jackson, because they did have to do that. And of course, they met the freaking uh, they met the creator of it, because why wouldn't you? Why would you create this? And then, from what I remember, I think being kept in the prison was actually like for some reason was the father of Icarus. Huh. I think he had gone mad from his son's death. You know, because Icarus flew too close to the sun. Yeah, yeah. Well, that is how it goes. <laughs> he made the wings out of wax and I forget what else for his son. And he told Icarus, don't fly too close. That's the one thing I like. That's definitely one thing I like about the God of War games is they have all this in there. And I think you can actually, I think you actually get the wings of Icarus in there too, which is, <laughs> which is funny. I don't know how you get them, but you do get them. As I said, they were getting, you know, they were getting the baby owls for food, so they don't really have to go get food, so. Even though aren't they the ones who go capture the baby owls to begin with? To, as I said, to, as a deal for, um, deal with the wise owl. If they go get the babies for him, he basically gives them, you know, Even though their own allotment of food by eating off the weak and the sick ones. If they were smart, they would just get their own food. Well, just to the bats, it was a deal because they don't have to go get the food now. Even though, even though they're still the ones fetching the baby, the baby owls. Them so they get fed. With the they so get. So they don't have to go get their own fucking food. But don't they get fed with the baby owls that they bring back? No. Oh, the pure ones actually feed them with actual stuff. No. <laughs> no, because the way you're. Hey. Basically, they made the deal with the bats. If the bats help, you know, this fucking power-hungry owl. 
go steal baby owlets from their nest so he can brainwash them. At so least brainwash the ones that he wants. It's the soldiers. And the rest of them go work in the mines. Yeah. Once the owl babies are too weak, can continue mining for him, he takes all the weak and the injured ones and gives them to the bats as a payment for the bat services of taking the eggs or taking the babies. So the owls have a steady stream of food. Well, the, bat, the, the bats have a steady stream of food. Yes. Yeah. But no, from... I, I get what you're saying, but just from the way I'm looking at it is the bats are the ones who are bringing them the baby birds that are used for work and ine inevitably their food source. Mm -hmm. Why don't the bats just cut out the middleman and just go get the birds and then just... Because it's easier to eat in the week. Ah. See, that's, that explains it. It's less, you know... Basically beat them down and then... Less of a struggle. Beat them I down guess. and then uh, and then eat them. Because I said they get fed the weak and the sick. Okay, that actually... Ma that See, now that makes sense. Cause the, I, called the draining. I guess when they capture them, then they're not weak enough to just easily eat. No, so... Okay, that's that, what I said. That actually makes sense. That's kind of the deal with the bats, so the bats just kind of like, okay, sure, whatever. Hey, it, if it benefits them, why not? It benefits pretty much all parties involved. Yeah. Sing. I've got to get out of here. I like how he says, you won't get out of here, and now he's running from us. Well, you, have to, you all have to escape or you're going to be buried alive. I would think Alamir would want me dead before, before you know, trying to leave. Because, you know, he is a psychotic villain. <laughs> oh, and we're, we're hitting him with this, like, he, I see a bar of health every time I hit him. Yeah, see, it's starting to chip away at his armor. Good. Oh dear. Jesus. <laughs> mm. I don't remember the place being this big. Oh dear. And the camera turning is doing me oh no boy. that's doing me no favors. Now where the bloody hell is he? Ah uh, Yeah, he's gonna get away. Cause I don't know where he went. I didn't know you could fly off the rails like that. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, cam- damn camera. the camera to stop fucking me over then. Is that all you've got? You're doing quite well, but you'll need more training to defeat me. Yeah, my eyes. <laughs> Yeah, that is a problem, isn't it? Oh my god. Die. Was, yeah. <sighs> Almost there. I can see the way out. You can see the I sure as hell can't. Oh my god, that's fucking with it. It's so bright. You think, you think you made it a little too bright there? Oh, he ain't dead yet. You see, the will win this war. <laughs> Never. Oh dear. Well. He 
he's fine. Just a flesh wound. He's okay. Yeah, he'll be fine. So what? What do you think, though? Was it faithful? Was it faithful to the series? Yeah. It did kind of jump all over between books, though, didn't it? Kind of. They said it. It's like they shaved off all the marshmallow fluff. Because in the. Because I said like. First and the second book will establish your prologue and stuff like that. And then from book, I think, two and three, three starts the prison. And then four through six, it gets to the tree. But as I said, there's a journey, and so he we... meets all these other people that help him, and he frees all these other people that help him before he gets to the tree. So in, like, the first six books, we don't even discover that it's Alamir, huh? Yeah. So they, they jumped ahead a lot, and, I mean... Well, they had 15 books to cram in there, so... Yeah. I mean, overall, I think for for cramming that much in there, at least they didn't take liberties with it, so... No, as I said, they just shaved up a lot of fluff. I think it's actually, for a video game adaptation, I think it's probably one of the better movie-licensed ones. Yeah, it, was it was good. Yeah, it's... It wasn't bad. I just wish the control scheme was Yeah, better. the controls are a I little know, better. I like the, That's why... I, the combat's kind of, kind of mm -hmm. iffy at times, especially at the end there. But no, overall, it's a faithful, it's a faithful adaptation to the series. Obviously, from what I'm seeing. I like at the end they plugged in the original book title. Cause I didn't. Well, that's also the name on the game too. They have the full name on there. Yeah. But no, it's like, and I learned more about. Cause when I first played this, I didn't know there was a whole book series. I didn't. I don't remember Alamir being the villain in the film. I thought it was someone else, so... They do say this takes place after the film, which... I could see that. Yeah. But no, overall, I still think this is a good game that holds up. That was good. Because I said, the baby owl you meets in the prison... And accompanying him, she gets kidnapped, I think, by book three or book four. And he doesn't see her again, but he can't stop thinking about her. And throughout the books, he keeps mentioning, he keeps thinking he's got a connection to this owl, but he can't explain it. Later, I think around book six, he learns that that's his sister. They actually had two eggs, his parents, instead of the one. Hmm. Because it said in the prologue, where he remembers him getting captured, and stuff like that. He didn't know there was another egg. He didn't know he had a sister. Oh. Because I guess uh, before the father died, he had escaped with one of the eggs. Which was probably... Was that the sister's egg that the father escaped with then? or was Yeah, it... but as I said, the, the father eventually died and the offspring was taken by the pure ones and she was brainwashed. Oh. So she doesn't remember Thorin as being siblings. They don't remember each other, but they have a weird connection to each other. That they can't explain it. Which they didn't. I guess they just shaved off a lot of fluff, in my opinion. Like, yeah. If you want all that subtext and to go through his journey and go read the books, I'd imagine. Yeah. Because there's going to be a lot of them, and because a lot happens in that. Because clearly you're trying to cram 15 books into this. Because I, mean, I don't. I think I, the reason why the books are so long and they're 15 is because they are short read books. Hmm. You know, I don't even think they're more than 500 pages. That's a, sh that's a short book. Well, they're kids' books, so... A kids' book is They're fine. like the size of a Goosebump book. So if you remember the original Goosebumps... Goosebumps books were not that big. They were maybe two or three hundred pages, but not five. That's exactly what these were. They're okay. easy, easy readable, but they're still kind of thick for a child. They're, they're pretty yeah. thick for a child to read. They're, as I said, I equivalent them to the size of a Goosebumps book. No, yeah, goose two Goosebumps books, maybe. Because, like, Goosebumps, you can probably read the whole entire series in a sitting. Probably. Because, you well, know, no, as that, I said, they're easy to read. There's a lot of books, though. I know, but so they're easy to read once you get going, you know. But no, for an adaptation that crams 15 books into this one game... As I said, it was did, a, did a good job. Because games and movies typically are going to have less material than, you know, what they're mm -hmm. originally based on. I've seen it time and again with anime-based games. Movie. And so the reason why they crammed all 15 books into this is... It's, it's not like the Harry Potter where it's like one book, this happened in this book. Well, they did one book, one movie, and one game for each one, so... This well, one they said, like in Harry Potter, his progression is yeah. one book. 
Soren's progression is spread across books. This one and this one, they just cram in there. It's not like I, it's not like the first book. You know, he escapes the prison. The first book sets you into this world and into the prison. The second book is the prison escape. You know. Basically, they they draw they they draw you into it and keep you there for a long mm-hmm. time. I said, I equivalent this to, like, Avatar the Airbender. There's a journey that and I mean the, the he goes through and gets his training from, you know, either ex-Guardians or some of the Guardians that still believe in him, even though the top Guardians do not. And, because they obey the order of things. And I mean, the good... Soren goes against the order because he wants to be the hero. And I mean, the good, th- the good thing about this game, too, is the fact that you don't need to be familiar with the entire series... Mm-hmm to be able to understand the story it's sure it's taken all those things but it's a self-contained story at the same time which well if the movie was your first thing you watched if they get you into this and i recommend getting your hands on those books because to me the as i said these were probably one of the strongest series of children's books that i read and as i said when i saw the commercial for this movie on nickelodeon i couldn't believe that they took one of my childhood book series and made it into a fucking movie. Like I said, that I... looked really, really good. Like I said, I think I did the game first and then the movie. But, so, but, so even without watching the movie, it's still a self-contained story. I'm saying, well, if the movie is your first introduction and you didn't know this was a book series, then I recommend... It's like if somebody went to go see Percy Jackson, but they didn't know it was a book series. Would you recommend them going back and reading the book? Yes, because the books are better than the movie. So this is in my case here. You gotta go read the those bo- books. The books are much better than the movie because the movie, the movie, like completely fucked with everything. You could probably read two, three books in a sitting. What for Percy Jackson? No, for this one. Oh, for this. 